Anne Rice was an American author of Gothic fiction, erotic literature, and Christian literature. She was best known for her series of novels The Vampire Chronicles. Books from The Vampire Chronicles were the subject of two film adaptations, Interview with the Vampire and Queen of the Damned. Born in New Orleans, Rice spent much of her early life there before moving to Texas, and later to San Francisco. She was raised in an observant Catholic family but became an agnostic as a young adult. She began her professional writing career with the publication of Interview with the Vampire in 1976, while living in California, and began writing sequels to the novel in the 1980s. In the mid-2000s, following a publicized return to Catholicism, Rice published the novels Christ the Lord, Out of Egypt and Christ the Lord, The Road to Cana, fictionalized accounts of certain incidents in the life of Jesus. Several years later she distanced herself from organized Christianity, citing disagreement with the Catholic Church's stances on social issues but pledging that faith in God remained central to life. However, she later considered herself a secular humanist. Rice's books have sold over 150 million copies, making her one of the most popular and best-selling authors of all time. While reaction to her early works was initially mixed, she became more popular with critics and readers in the 1980s. Her writing style and the literary content of her works have been analyzed by literary commentators. She was married to poet and painter Stan Rice for 41 years, from 1961 until his death from brain cancer in 2002 at age 60. She and Stan had two children, Michelle, who died of leukemia at age 5, and Christopher, who was also an author. In addition to her vampire novels, Rice authored books such as The Feast of All Saints and Servant of the Bones, which formed the basis of a 2011 comic book miniseries. Several books from the Vampire Chronicles have been adapted as comics and manga by various publishers. Rice has also authored erotic fiction under the pen names Anne Rampling and A.N. Roclore, including Exit to Eden, which was later adapted into a 1994 film. On July 28, 2010, Rice publicly announced her disdain for the current state of Christianity on her Facebook page, stating, Today I quit being a Christian. I remain committed to Christ as always but not to being Christian or to being part of Christianity. It's simply impossible for me to belong to this quarrelsome, hostile, disputatious, and deservedly infamous group. For 10 years, I've tried. I've failed. I'm an outsider. My conscience will allow nothing else. Shortly thereafter, she clarified her statement, My faith in Christ is central to my life. My conversion from a pessimistic atheist lost in a world I didn't understand, to an optimistic believer in a universe created and sustained by a loving God is crucial to me. But following Christ does not mean following his followers. Christ is infinitely more important than Christianity and always will be, no matter what Christianity is, has been, or might become. Following her announcement, Rice's critique of Christianity was commented upon by numerous journalists and pundits. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, Rice elaborated on her view regarding being a member of a Christian church, I feel much more morally comfortable walking away from organized religion. I respect that there are all kinds of denominations and all kinds of churches, but it's the entire controversy, the entire conversation that I need to walk away from right now. In response to the question, how do you follow Christ without a church? Rice replied, I think the basic ritual is simply prayer. It's talking to God, putting things in the hands of God, trusting that you're living in God's world and praying for God's guidance. And being absolutely faithful to the core principles of Jesus' teachings. In 2011, Rice participated in the I Am Second Project, with a short documentary about her spiritual journey. On April 14, 2013, Rice stated in a Facebook post that she was a secular humanist. On July 28, 2014, Rice stated in a Facebook post that Christ is still central to her life, but not in the way he is presented by organized religion. Rice died from complications of a stroke at a hospital in Rancho Mirage, California on December 11, 2021, at age 80. According to a statement from Rice's son, the family planned to inter her at the family mausoleum at Metairie Cemetery in New Orleans.